Hi, I'm Bob Wallace, president of Art Focus Artists Association. We are a group of artists who reside in the area and use Lee Square as our go-to facility. In the fall, winter, and spring, Lee Square Arts Village is the meeting place for our demos, workshops, business meetings, and exhibitions. Lee Square has beautiful gardens and scenery, which have been a subject for our plein air events throughout the summer. Lee Square has many other local activities. The Poco Farmers Market is held on Thursdays throughout the summer and fall. Art Focus participates in this event. Our members do demos and display their artwork on a weekly basis. Central to the plaza's walkways, pond and gardens, there is a band shell which is used for performances. The mailboxes you saw have been saved from the past and reinvented here. This is our story. In so many ways, many works of art have been attached to this village and so many more to come. Next you will see some of these, so stay tuned. Details on our members' paintings can be found in the catalog at the end. I'm Ray Yano. I'm a member of Art Focus uh, 
Art Association and I have been a member for 17 years now. I'm just finishing off this cat portrait in pastels. I really enjoy working with pastels because they're very, a very forgiving medium and they're good for pets because they have a nice soft look. You can blend the, the colors and you can get sharp lines. One of, the, uh, one of the tools I use is an eraser if I want a sharp edge. The paper I work on is uh, made specially for pastels. It comes in a, in a pad like this and there's different colors. I chose this dark color for the color of the cat so that it will stand out as a, as a portrait. And then when you put the mat on it, gives it life. Whereas, um, if I used a lighter background, then I'd be tempted to have to color something in here to make it, to make it stand out, so. Okay, this one is, is a landscape, and unlike the, uh, the cat, uh, I want to use the background as part of the landscape, so it's done on a, on a pale green background, and this is a, pastel paper that has grit applied so that it holds a lot more of the color on it so you can get many different layers and I like the way that the green comes through to give it kind of a turquoise look with it. I'm still not quite finished I want to maybe put some more warm tones in the, the river at the, in the foreground but that's a landscape.